Hello everyone, uh, Permal Jagan here. How are you all doing? Uh, I've been doing really great. Uh, it's going to be a shorter one. I have brought an interesting stuff to the table in today's video. Uh, yesterday, if you if you had seen my uh, yesterday's stream, I was using uh, a code AI code assistant to write my PowerShell script. I was setting up a domain controller there. I was using the PowerShell uh, script to build the domain controller and I was using the uh, AI code assistant uh, in my VS code uh, software. Uh, today I'm going to explain what was that AI code assistant and how you can grab that. Uh, let me explain that I'm, I'm damn sure that it's going to help you. It's going to help you a lot. That AI code assistant is awesome literally awesome if you are using if you are especially using that uh, github copilot it's a paid software uh, if you are using that then you would really feel this is actually a perfect replacement for that uh, github copilot uh, actually this one is totally free you can uh, download it uh, and you can use it uh, in in whatever the systems you, you know you want to do, you want to build the code you can just install it in your ide Okay, so without further ado, let me uh, explain that stuff. Now you are uh, looking at my Ubuntu machine and here I have installed the code uh, IDE, uh, code editor. Uh, but before that, let me go to that website, uh, the AI code assistant and the code assistant name is Codium. Okay, it is actually a free, uh, I mean, it, it, it is actually pr providing a, a, a free, uh, free service to the individuals so you can uh, Install, you can log in, create an account as an individual for personal purposes and you can use it for non-commercial purposes, right? Um, okay, now you are seeing that Codium website, the Codium web page and you can see uh, it is actually an AI code assistant and it, it actually auto-completes the code. When you put the context on the code editor, it will write the code for you. It, it, it's going to assist you eventually. So that's the stuff. Uh, you see uh, what are all the IDE that it supports and uh, VS code is the primary one and I am using with the VS code obviously and uh, apart from that you can install this Codium extension with Visual Studio as well that's actually an awesome stuff earlier it was not there now recently they have added this feature and uh, they are actually expanding it's growing and they are uh, expanding its compatibility to various popular IDE tools okay so you need not to worry you can you can use it with uh, all these basic uh, uh, and popular IDE tools and it is actually compatible with Vim as well and I can see the Chrome extensions available for this and apart from that I can see sublime text which I uh, often often use and apart from that Eclipse is a popular IDE and it is compatible to that and I see a lot of uh, other stuffs Android Studio if you are an Android developer uh, using Android Studio often, then it's actually a great option for you to to, to add it in your uh, code editor IDE. Uh, all right, I think these are all the compatible uh, IDEs. Uh, I mean, the list is huge. It covers almost every popular uh, IDE solutions. And let's see the pricing here. Uh, for individuals, you need not to pay. It's actually free. And you see this, uh, it, it provides all the cap all the major capability, uh, rapid code autocomplete, it completes the code for you. And uh, you can you can see you can you can get the chat assistant, the chat window uh, in that ID itself. So it, it, it is like a chat GPT, you can interact with that, you can write your questions, it will gonna uh, answer for your questions, any anything related to code, anything related to development, um, unlimited usage, there is no limitations. Uh, you can create one account in Codium and you can just uh, log in that account from various devices. If you, are, you, uh, if you are developing from various devices, various VMs, you can log in this and you can use it from various VMs. There is no limitations. That's actually one of the awesome stuffs, awesome uh, features of uh, Codium that I would say. And uh, it has support, uh, Discord support. I actually, I never uh, use this support, but seems like uh, they have, they are doing uh, a phenomenal job. Uh, encryption in transit uh, there also ensures that uh, uh, protection and fine I think there are a lot of stuffs a lot of incredible stuffs that uh, easily replace uh, github copilot uh, fine I go, I go here I go to uh, vs code now now let me install that uh, extension for you and uh, I'll, let, I'll let you know how you can access this uh, uh, podium extension and you can unleash the power of it Go and uh, install the extension first. 
and here it is and you see it's uh, check mark so verify uh, i mean install its verified version and now it's installed and you see it here now it is installed uh, to enable this codium you need to log in codium all right so you see the login button here so i am clicking it so it's gonna give a request uh, it's gonna open a web browser and let's log in this i already have an account and i am logging it directly now it is logging in so once you logged in uh, it actually redirects you uh, redirects you to the code editor again so i am opening it and you see now it's logged in i i, I keep using it you see here uh, initially when you log in it will give you the uh, a guidance how to use this it will give you the shortcut keys that you can use for example uh, you see here uh, I'm, I'm just pressing uh, an add symbol and you see the list of uh, uh, the various stuffs for example if I give terminal it is actually uh, bringing us back to the terminal and I think we can type the stuff we want uh, all right I think apart from that if I go to control I uh, for example let me close this and open a file uh, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm going to create a C program. Uh, here I'll uh, press control I like this. When you are in a code editor, you press control I. It will just open that box where you can submit your queries. While you are writing, you can stop anywhere you want and you can simply press control I. So it will open the chat window where you can just drop your queries. Um, write a simple hello world programming C shift enter to submit that it's gonna process and it's gonna write the code for you and you see it just took few seconds to write this even if I mean even if it's some a complex code then obviously you just submit your query properly it's gonna write the code for you all right so also if you have a doubt you can just chat with this uh, let me ask uh, some other question if it is not relevant to C it is related to some other language then let me uh, just submit the query here uh, write uh, code to AES 256 encrypt files recursively I'm sure I'm not writing the uh, writing the query properly. Uh, write a code to AES encrypt files recursively on Windows. Let's see what it's gonna give and look at this. If if you click, uh, it is actually sharing you the code. If you simply click insert, it's gonna insert that code for you, and you see that use the password blah 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 it actually writes you that code now it's writing the same code in rust awesome isn't it see this is the code to encrypt the files recursively on windows probably one of the uh, crucial functionalities of any ransomware that you would see uh, yeah I think this is what this is what I wanted to showcase and you see the power of it it just want us to give some queries it do the rest for us and while you are writing a code you can just get the assistance from it uh, for example let me say I'm gonna write a simple Python program let's say uh, we we use this Python often during our uh, cyber security assessment or CTFs, right? So let me uh, write a code here. Import request and you see it, it, it is doing some predictions. It actually brings some URL and uh, it request. And if you have any doubt, you can just um, send cookies to the server 
it's actually doing the things for us awesome right this is what actually this is what the power of uh, codium this is what i wanted to showcase uh, anything else i left so just go here go to this website and create your account sign up you will get your authentication code and uh, you can use that code in the compatible ide solutions and it's very simple you can use it you can simply use this codium to replace your uh, github copilot and e eventually it's going to pay you off it's going to save some money for you right and yeah i think uh, this is what as i said it's a shorter one shorter video um, hope i i explained this code editor uh, properly uh, you can you can try to explore it yourself uh, hopefully you will find it very helpful if you really found uh, you, you know use it uh, and find it very helpful and uh, come come to this video and put it in the comment section give me the feedback so that uh, i can i can uh, I, I will realize uh, okay some, some i mean some, someone uh, uh, got benefited with my video um, yeah i think that's it uh, it's very simple one uh, i'll see you next time with another exciting one i'll i'll create some useful content next time very soon hopefully until then uh, i'm signing off uh, do the youtube algorithms if you like this like comment subscribe and uh, share this video among your friends i'll catch you next time with another uh, exciting one